What's up guys and girls, it's me, Molten Marshmallow here, and today I have a video, which is going to be, as you've seen in the title, I'm going to be reviewing a homemade Lego Parthenon. This took me a while to build. Um, I did have some help building it. It's way off color because I couldn't find all these colored bricks. So yeah, it's an off colored thing. It's not really going to be like a how to build, because that's going to take forever. It's just kind of a review on how I built it. I actually did build this for a project in school. It was really fun to build, but it was really stressful too because it broke a good amount of times. So I made like the pillars, the columns, out of either 2x4 two or 2x2 two two bricks. I made the top not really solid as you could see, just like one layer from the front. And the roof and the base are both two layers thick of the thinner Lego pieces, like not these kinds of bricks, but like the thin ones. If you know Legos, you know what I would be talking about. So it took me quite a while to build. If you can manage to do this and do it in the right color, that would be awesome. You'd be a lucky person, basically. So the thing with it is, it's not really comparable to a Lego character or any other Lego creatures. See, right here I have a, a Lego dinosaur. The, in reality, a, a dinosaur would be much, 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 much smaller than the Parthenon. The Parthenon is very large. But then again, the dinosaurs are shown to be a lot bigger than the humans than they actually would be in real life. So that's not really something to worry about. This is going to be a short video. As you may be realizing that this is probably coming to a close. So, that's really basically it. I just wanted to show you. I built this up quite a while ago. It didn't really stand out when my teacher put it on display because it was so small compared to the other ones. But that's because I made mine out of Legos. If I made mine the size of all the other ones, it would take me forever. So, hope you guys thought found this to be pretty cool. I definitely do. And hope you're having a wonderful day or night, no matter what time it is. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.